Hi, this is Jay Capella here with a quick video review of KX Studio. Now, KX Studio is a, a pretty much a new uh, Linux distribution based off of Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid, and it pretty much does a lot of things that you would have expected um, that you would expect Ubuntu Studio to do, and it, it does it pretty well. For instance, it comes with Jack and Pulse Audio installed side by side and also working in harmony. What I thought was really great was uh, the first time I booted into it, both Pulse Audio and Jack were running. Uh, Jack, I mean, uh, Pulse Audio was synced into, it, 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 it was synced. Right now you can't see it there because I restarted the uh, restarted session, but if I just open a terminal, right, right quick, it comes with a pretty handy command line utilities. I'm gonna, oh, whoops, I don't. I'm not a big uh, KDE user, so I'm sort of finding my way around here. But I want to increase the size of the text. So there's this program called. Pulse start, oh, pulse jack, and initiates pulse audio. And as you can see, pulse audio source and pulse audio sync have both been added, which I think is really cool. And well, in addition to Jack 2 and pulse audio, it has Laddish integration, so pretty much. <coughs> I'm running Laddish. This is Laddish right here, which is a session handler for audio projects. Um, and it also comes with this cool nifty program called uh, Claudia. Where is this? Uh, Claudia. Which, what it'll do is it'll launch a program, add it to your your uh, session, your Laddish session, and also in it will generate, it'll create a template um, it'll create files automatically, at least for the most part. Um, I know that does it for Ardor, but I've noticed that a few of these have bugs. For instance, if I wanted to add Yoshimi, it s doesn't work. So I'm just going to remove that. But I can demonstrate how it works with some other programs. I'm going to add uh, Zenad sub effects. and add a rack rack so you can see those two created and I'm going to go to Ardor create a couple buses it's two stereo buses click add now I do my routing so then add sub effects to bus one and rack a rack, uh, a whole bunch of stuff is already connected to it, but I don't want it to hardware playback. I want to connect it to my bus, and also I have to connect Ardor master out to my playback, and also to my recording software, just master out. And let's connect my MIDI keyboard to Zenad sub effects and go back into Ardor. Options. I have to make sure that Ardor does the monitoring. So. <coughs> get that and. So my guitar seems to be plugged into Rack. So that's pretty nifty. Also, it comes with like a whole bunch of software. Um, and you can see inside of Claudia, it lists pretty much everything. You have Ardor, Hydrogen, LMMS, Non DAW, Non Sequencer, Q Tractor, Renoise, Rose Garden, Seek 2.4, Traverso Energy X2, 
you have a whole bunch of like hosts for instruments and effects. You have Calf Jack, Vestige, um, for VST, um, InGen, Jack Rack, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I really love pretty much, it has, this distribution comes packed with so much software that pretty much every every sing single thing that I use is already installed off the boot. Like you get Yoshimi, which is a fork off of Zinad sub effects, which works better under Jack, and you have PhaseX, um, which I use. A uh, whole bunch of other stuff too, and all of this pretty much good to go. Um, also, like this is a this is a KDE distribution, so if you're not used to KDE, well, you don't have to get used to it because you can always run GNOME or whatever window manager you want. But um, you will sort of miss like some integration, like for instance when KDE loads, <coughs> when KDE loads it automatically has like Jack and Pulse Audio running. Well, if you want to get that functionality, there's a there's a script called KX Studio, yeah, Studio Session Start. And I'm just gonna go to help. And pretty much you can, with these flags, you can start it, you can stop it, you can restart and you can config, etc. What this pretty much does, this KX Studio Session, it it launches Jack and Pulse Audio, and it also <coughs> restarts it. And you can also configure it as well. So I think that's really nifty. Um, one of the big uh, one of the big issues with people who are first you know testing out Linux for audio production is that they're really lost on how to get Jack working on these mainstream distributions that use Pulse Audio and there are conflicts. Well, this distribution, there are no conflicts. And you know, you get you get pretty much all, all, all the, everything that you're used to in Ubuntu is pretty much there for you. Um, so if you want to get this, pretty much go to kxstudio.sourceforge.net and you'll be able to um, go to downloads and pick up an ISO, a live DVD, which you can select a 64-bit and 32-bit architecture. Um, I have a 64-bit system, but I always, I traditionally ran 32-bit just because I felt, oh, there's probably better compatibility. Well, supposedly KX Studio supports um, supports any software. I haven't tested it out yet, but um, I'm going to stick to 32-bit for now just because I feel safe. Um, what more should I add? Um, yeah, you can, since it's based on, since it's based on, on Lucid, you can also just um, add the repositories, which are listed on the website. You can add these repositories into, into your software sources, and you can pretty much upgrade to KX Studio or just upgrade certain parts of Cake Studio that you like, uh, it's it's not recommended to in install this on top of an old, an old system that has a whole bunch of software installed. For instance, I installed it over a pretty much vanilla Ubuntu Studio, which I I I installed a clean 10.04 Lucid, and then I installed um, Ubuntu Studio by adding the repositories, and then it sort of seemed like Ubuntu Studio conflicted with um, with KX Studio repository so much that I, w I wasn't able to install it completely so if you're already running uh, if you're already running the uh, 10.04 base distribution well I don't recommend upgrading unless you have a clean install and also um, the uh, on this on their website they they recommend that you only upgrade to cake studio from a clean install because things like messy things can happen <laughs> but in any case um, I think it's a really great distribution I've been using it for a few days now and well I like that everything that I that I've used is installed off the boot uh, before before migrating to cake studio I've been I've been using Arch Linux which I think is a really great distribution but um, 
it's some parts of it are I consider really flaky. Like there was it, it's you know when you're on a bleeding edge distribution you sort of expect things to break and while KX Studio is sort of on the bleeding edge because there's quite a bit of software that um, that comes packaged that are uh, it's taken from from Git but you know these are taken from snapshots and I and I'm guessing that you know they've been tested well enough and if there are any bugs since it is a distribution they clean it out over time so um, yeah I, I Although I haven't been using this distro for a really long time, I sort of feel like pretty comfortable. Like I don't even want to upgrade any software on it because it comes with everything that I've used. So if you want to go get it, it's kxstudio.sourceforge.net. Go grab yourself a, you know, a live, a live uh, s a DVD you can download and even just install it onto a USB stick. I actually, I actually plan on, on having a a USB stick devoted to just KX Studio because it runs like the entire studio runs off of it and you can you can make noise you can do anything you want just run off the USB and plug it into your friend's computer or whatever so yeah, I highly recommend KX Studio if you're trying out Linux audio for your first time I you know you gotta use this instead of Ubuntu Studio because you're not I don't I don't think you'll get too far with Ubuntu Studio because it's it's not integrated well enough. Uh, Ubuntu is a uh, distribution that uses Pulse Audio, and it doesn't pull off the Jack 2 and Pulse Audio integration. So um, that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll chat with you later.